Welcome to today's video of Digital Sim. Today we are looking at the configuration of a ROT241 router from Teltonica, especially the eSIM configuration of this new device, the first device that is capable to download virtual profiles. Now, to do this, and it's actually very simple, preparation is key. So there's two aspects on the preparation. First of all, to really uh, prepare the device itself and to have your activation code or activation codes ready. So we prepared the device like this. So we have the fully connected ROT241 with power. And today we need two Ethernet cables. Why is that? Because the first Ethernet cable on the LAN port is the one that's connected to the laptop which we use to configure the device. The second one is to give the router internet access, external internet access through our local area network here in the office. This is necessary in order to download the profile because that requires, of course, an internet connection. Important information, what you can't use is the physical SIM slot to connect the device to the internet in order to download an eSIM profile. This does not work because the eSIM chip has to be connected to the modem while doing that. And if I use the physical slot, the eSIM is kind of disconnected. Now, we are ready here with uh, ROT241 to download our digital SIM profile. And uh, so let's have a look at the configuration interface. So this is the well-known overview status page of the Teltonica router. And uh, we are now going to network mobile where we find the new eSIM profile section. First, we visit the general section in order to change the SIM as I described before, from SIM1, which is the physical slot, to SIM2, which is the eSIM. And uh, I click default SIM, I save and apply, and that's all it takes. And then we can go to the eSIM profile section. And um, there is a, a notification on the right um, that internet connection is required to perform these um, actions and uh, an indication that no active eSIM profile is available. Actually, when this shows up in another section of the GUI, it uh, brings you right to this section. So if everything is prepared, we find the add new eSIM profile option here. But before that, I like to uh, point out the eSIM ID. This is actually the unique ID of your eSIM chip that is capable of storing the SIM profiles. The SIM profiles itself come with an ICC ID, and this is kind of the SIM card number that is used for the regular SIM cards today. If we add an eSIM profile, as mentioned before, it's really simple. We give it a name. Let's call it Digital SIM 1. So now all we need is the activation code. You get this activation code for your SIM profile from your provider, of course, in case you're using or working with digital SIM you find it in our inventory. So I have filtered the inventory for the eSIM profile that I'm going to use for the demo. I just double click on it and hit the load eSIM activation code button. And now uh, Digital Sim shows the code in two forms as a QR code and as a string. Uh, the QR code is used if this profile shall be downloaded to an iPad, an iPhone or an Android device which has a camera. In uh, our case, in the Teltonica router, we just copy the link, um, the activation code and paste it into the GUI of the Teltonica router. And that's it. That's how you insert the SIM card. So now we can download the profile. And uh, now a connection to the eSIM server is established. And I already see a reaction in our backend that the eSIM profile is going to be downloaded. So the request has reached the server and the profile is already downloaded. And we're doing this here in real time. 
And now the router takes a few seconds to enable the profile. Uh, in the meantime, I can show you the edit button. So there's not much to edit apart from the name here. And in the meantime, we're waiting for this to be applied. The eSIM is now enabled. And you also, of course, have to activate the contract behind this SIM card before. Of course, I've done that. So we will now check the uh, mobile network status to see if the eSIM is working. And there you go. We have just connected to a network using the downloaded eSIM profile. So as you see, it's really, really simple. Since the device is connected now uh, via the eSIM, I can disconnect the WAN connectivity from, from our office network. Um, just to showing that uh, the one is now down, but I'm still able now to uh, go to the eSIM profile section and it's still showing the add new eSIM. And that indicates that with this connection, you now can change your SIM card, you can change to another eSIM profile. So I hope this was interesting to find out how you really download this easing profile to the ROT241. And if you want to know more about these devices, uh, feel free to contact me, to contact us. We have the devices available for you. And of course, we have eSIM profiles and SIM cards for your project as well. So thanks for watching and see you soon.